What's up guys, welcome back to another, hold on, wait a minute, what's going on? What's up, welcome back to another edition of the Monday Motivator. Before we get started, welcome to... It is Monday, September 25th, and that means two things. One, it's another Monday motivator, and two, it's Cowboys game day, baby. You know I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, so I gotta rep it today. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of the Monday Motivator. This is episode three, and today we're gonna talk about five reasons why it's okay to fail. Okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. For those of you who are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe down in the bottom corner. Hit that bell so you're notified. For those of you returning back, we appreciate you. Make sure you smash that thumb in the bottom right hand corner uh, and, and uh, show some love. Do appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. Five reasons why it's okay to fail. Why it's okay to fail? Some people don't like failure, but really it could be a motivator for you and here's why. Number one, failure is inevitable. You are without a doubt at some point in your life going to fail. 100% guarantee you will fail at something in your life. So you might as well embrace it. As talented as you may be, as smart as you may be, failure will get you at some point. Failure really is inevitable. And don't let anybody fool you. If you ever hear anybody say that they have never failed, they are wrong. Failure has produced some of the most successful people in this world. If you look at it, do your research. Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, R.I.P., and Walt Disney. I mean, those are some of, the, some of the most successful people that the world has seen. And they've all failed at some point in their life, and failure is what got them to where they are today or where they were. So take it easy. You're in good company, you're gonna fail. Reason number two. You learn substantially more from failure than you do from success. No matter how great you are, there's always room for improvement. Sometimes you never know where that improvement is needed until you fail. It's like training for a job or life. You have a supervisor or mom that'll bring something to your attention when you've done it wrong. It's not to break your spirits. It's just to make sure that whenever you come across that thing, you do it better next time, hopefully. So instead of feeling sorry for yourself and sulking over your ask yourself, what did I do wrong? Reason number three. What is it? What is, what is this? Okay, half bent. Three! 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 Do you do three or do you do three? That's, I've never learned. Some people do it both ways, I don't know. Failures make you stronger. Failure separates the weak from the strong. Some people fail and give up on their goals. Others fail and they gain invincible strength. Those people can get knocked down and bounce back up like those inflatable dolls. Inflatable dolls? Maybe that's not the best reference. Those people get knocked down, but they get up again. Like that one song back in the 90s. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Something like that. I don't think I can say the rest of the words because there might be kids watching. Moral of the story, if failure knocks you down, get back up again and push harder to achieve your goals and your dreams. You should really feel like if you can survive this failure, that you can survive anything. And that is why failure makes you stronger. Reason number four. Try to do like a little Bruno Mars thing there. You take more chances when you're not afraid to fail. People who are afraid to fail, they're pretty boring. They play it safe and they never take chances. On the other hand, those who aren't afraid to fail take a lot of risk. They may try out for singing competitions like American Idol. Side note. You watch those American Idol auditions where uh, it's the funny ones, where the people that do try out that aren't so good, bless their heart, so much courage for trying out, but just because your mama says you're good at singing doesn't mean you're good at singing, okay? Those type of people may also apply for a big time job when necessarily they don't meet all the requirements. But in a lot of those situations, you never know until you try. And that kind of circles back to the whole failure makes you stronger, right? You never know till you try, you learn from it, and you move on. Sometimes those risks can make life more enjoyable. And honestly, you never know. Sometimes those risks, no matter how crazy they may be, just might pay off. 
our fifth and final reason of the day why it's okay to fail. Reason number five, failure makes success that much sweeter. You don't truly know how sweet success can be until you felt the sting of failure, until you've been down in the trenches, you've dug yourself out of the mud, or whatever other cliche things there are out there. When you finally do succeed after so many failures, success is one of the best things in the world. You'll have a great feeling of satisfaction knowing that everything you went through was worth it. And honestly, that's because it will be. And that is why failure makes success that much sweeter. All right, so that does it for today's Monday Motivator. Again, this is episode three. If you didn't see one or two, I'll make sure to link that down below. There may be even a card that pops up here or there. And then at the end of the video, there'll be a little box for you to click on a video. I'll make sure to put one there as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe, smash that like, and we'll see you next Monday for episode four of the Monday Motivator.